Pompeo here, speaking from the Hudson Institute's China Center. Today I want to talk about an idea that resonates with Americans and with the Chinese people. Freedom and democracy are indeed universal values. One of my predecessors as Secretary of State, John Quincy Adams, said it well. He said, quote, the truce of the Declaration of Independence are not limited by time or place. And while they may be subdued, they can never be suppressed. They are truths at Constantinople and Peking and Charleston and at Philadelphia. Constantinople is now Istanbul and Peking is now Beijing, but the truths still hold. And there's a figure from history who shows us how universal freedom and democracy really are. The Chinese scholar P.C. Chang. Chang adopted Mulan for the stage. He came to the United States on a scholarship and was one of the best students at Columbia University. Chang helped write the Universal Declaration of Human Rights after World War II. His contributions show that ideals like life, liberty, and security are cherished in China too. That's why brave Chinese students demonstrated as part of the May 4th movement, and again at Tiananmen Square in 1989. It's why Li Jiubu published his Charter 08 Manifesto on the 60th anniversary of the University Declaration. It's why Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, Falun Gong devotees, and hundreds of millions of others pray in secret in China, even as their government tries to shut them down. And every day, every day the amazing people of the sovereign, democratic country of Taiwan remind us what a free Chinese people can accomplish if they're simply given the chance. All people, all people have unalienable rights no matter who they are or where they live. Today, today the CCP may subdue and suppress, but these things, these things are still true.